Hello, my name is John Sims with the Advised Serviceability Engineering Team. This video is about how to configure System Monitor, otherwise known as Sysmon, for a VIA B5800 branch gateway and IP Office default tracing. Let's start with a brief introduction about System Monitor, otherwise known in the field as Sysmon. Sysmon is a monitoring tracing tool that's delivered with the IP Office and B1500 admin suites. System Monitor actually converts data received from the core units into human readable format. And even though the traces are very readable, it is still expected that you have good telephony protocol knowledge to be able to successfully analyze a trace. It is also highly recommended that installers and maintainers have quite a bit of precursory knowledge around System Monitor to be able to configure System Monitor and collect tracing data from the systems because at times Avaya support services may require system monitor traces to help troubleshoot and diagnose an issue. So now you see under the IP Office program group we have the monitor application which is system monitor. We'll click on that to invoke it and system monitor will appear on the screen connected to the last system we previously connected to if possible. So I'm going to show you now how to select a core unit of choice. Under File Select Unit, you can have either connect to a unit by typing in the IP address or select from a previous known list. Um, you'll connect using the monitor password as defined in System Security for the B1500 IP Office core unit. Otherwise, it'll use the system password. And you can also set up a custom INI, Monitor Settings INI, which will allow you to load pre-configured um, filtering options. Otherwise, leave the default and click OK. Just a quick peek at the SysMonitor Settings INI file, which is a typical Windows initialization file for the application. This will allow you to make custom changes within a file and save those changes. So you can actually set the filtering trace options which we're about to do together and it will output to this file. So if you need to share um, a certain type of default tracing with a customer um, or another support engineer you can make your modifications in SysMonitor and then you'll see um, 0 and 1 settings for off or on and you can and you can again share those settings default tracing settings with someone else now it's time to set our tracing options so under filters trace options the first step we're going to do is actually default all the tracing options so we'll click on default all it'll warn us it's going to reset everything including custom colors set up and we'll click yes so for all system tracing we're going to select monitor um, call manager mon cm and short code messages. Short code messages are very important to monitor on most systems for most, most cases. Um, and then if the system has embedded voicemail, select all the embedded voicemail options. Now let's start setting together various filtering elements for various line types. ATM or analog trunk module, which is present in most systems. We're going to set the um, channel mapping, the call manager line and the um, input output. Now we're going to head to the HV23 tab and this is an easy one because our recommendation generally is to use the tab set all button as you see me using here to select all filter elements on the tab. And another nice feature built into System Monitor is we can change color elements to have certain trace events stand out in the tracing. We're going to change from that fuchsia to a red color and we'll select OK. So now any HV23 tracing events when using Sysmon will show up on the screen in that red color. So if your system has ISDN trunks we're going to head to the ISDN tab and again our easy recommendation is to set tab set all to select all filtering options. For systems with VoIP trunks we're going to go to the media tab and we're going to select VoIP events, leave it at high, but you see you have an option for low, medium, and high. So leave that at high, and then under the packet details, we will select um, fast start and primitives. So we'll take a short break from setting up line tracing, and we'll go to the services tab. 
Under the Services tab, we're going to select File System Events, HTTP Events, and Memory Card Commands, so we can monitor um, input-output commands, reads and writes to the memory card in the system. So from the Services tab, we're going to head off to the increasingly popular SIP Line tab. Here we recommend that we set the SIP events. Um, we're going to knock it down from high to low. Low is a good default trace level. And you see that we already have SIP packet receives and transmits already selected. But one little note about Sysmon again, if you right click in this area next to the filtering event, um, filter event option, we can select a custom color. So we're going to set the um, receives to orange color and the transmits to green. So now in Sysmon we'll have custom coloring for SIP um, receives and transmits. As you see now, we're under the T1 filtering tab, setting CAS, channel, dialer, DSP, and line. These are the default recommended filter options if you have a T1 trunk on the system. All of our filtering settings are complete, so we'll click OK. One last thing I want to cover in this video is how to set up log preferences. So under File, Log Preferences, we're going to set how we write to the file system our recurring logs. We'll set it to um, roll over a log every n hours and we'll set the interval to one hour. So every one hour we'll have a new log file collected. We'll tell it to send status and assist monitor every 10 minutes or so. Here you see I have the path and file name, but we can also use the um, browse functionality here to browse to the folder of choice to send our logging into. On a very busy system, please note you'll want to maybe select binary logging. That will then collect a stream of binary data and change the log file to a .mon file. So on a busy system, you'll have less packet loss as it sends streaming binary to system monitor. Otherwise, select log to file and click OK to finalize our settings. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. Thank you for choosing Avaya.